guys, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and today I'm going to share my herps with you. <laughs> but not with my great niece, actually. I am, but not in that way. So anyway, Aurora, can you tell me what your favorite snake is? Artemis? Artemis is your favorite? Mm -hmm. They've been hanging out with me for about, what, three days now? Oh, uh, that's mommy's Four. favorite. Mm -hmm. That's mommy's favorite. What about your favorite? Mm -hmm. Do we have the same favorite? Yeah. Yeah, and she has picked. That purple fade. <laughs> <laughs> you see the purple fade? <laughs> She's talking about her incubator. But since she has a favorite, I thought we would film and show off her favorites. Oh, there she is. There he is. Yeah, and Artemis is our wrongly named snake. Artemis was supposed to be a girl. Found out it was Miss Sex after we, when we bought it, and it's actually a boy. So that's why this is Artemis even though Artemis is a dude. So we may eventually change the name. Typically I just call him Artie. And he looks like he's just beginning to go into a shed cycle. His eyes aren't blue yet, no issues there. But you can see the belly is a little pinkish, just slightly, and the white's kind of taking that dingy look. When pied white starts to get kind of dingy, then I know they're about to go to the shed. What do you think, Aurora? You like that one? You do. Is there any other ones you like? He's coming over to see EE. -E. Is there any other snakes you like? Do you like the yellow one? You like the yellow one? Artemis. Artemis? Artemis? <laughs> There's another one I know she likes. So let me trade you spots here. I'll get this other one out. This is one that her mom is not a fan of. But I know Aurora is. <gasps> See? Aurora loves Apollo or Bumblebee too. You want to pet him? What's this? It's Bumblebee. It's Apollo. Remember, Apollo. what's the Bumblebee say? In our house, they do. And this one makes patients a little nervous just because of size. And she opened it one day and he was kind of looking at her. But Aurora, I know she loves this one. You want to pet him? You want to pet him? <laughs> You want to wear one? him? Put him on you? Apollo. Yeah, Apollo. You like how yellow he is? Yeah. You want to give him a kiss? kiss oh, him. you can. Kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. This is our a quick uh, public reminder that snakes do carry salmonella. That's Don't lick your up. snake. <laughs> But we do, so it's all right. And it is a bumblebee. <laughs> it's a bumblebee snake. So bumblebee snake. Okay. So which one's your favorite? Which one do you like best? Thinking face. She makes thinking face. Who's your favorite? Can you touch the one you like? You like Apollo or Artemis? Mm. Mm. Artemis. Artemis. Yay! All right, guys. So this one is two and a half year old approved, and this is our winner. The whole point of this video is uh, here. Take him back really quick. Is that you know, as parents, and I don't have kids, so I'm kind of giving parenting advice, but it's really not my place. But one thing I'd request parents do is even if they're afraid of something, don't try to make your kid afraid of it. Don't try to pass on your fears. If they're not rational fears. I mean, fear of a hot stove, sure, but fear of, a, of snakes or fear of dogs or fear of spiders. Don't try to pass that on. Had her father freaked out every time she got near a snake or saw one of these, she would be afraid of them. And then she'd be missing out on all this, all this fun and, and all this wonder that a two and a half year old has. So I'm really appreciative that her dad, even though he's afraid, didn't force that fear on her. And don't do that to your kids no matter what it is. Let them discover things. Keep them safe while they do, obviously, but let them discover things and don't make them afraid of things that you are. Like me, I don't like bugs. Roaches freak me out. But I'm not going to scream like a little girl if I ever have a kid and I see a roach because I don't want my kid to have that same fear that I have because it's irrational. I mean, a roach isn't going to kill me. They just they creep me out. But uh, so that's all I would ask. And then you can have a two-and-a-half-year-old like this who's completely curious. Okay, he's a pillow. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And we'll actually before we go, question girl, you got any questions? Forget she's doing double duty. Um no. 
not at the moment. Um, how come you only pulled out two snakes in this video? Is that just because you're talking about the two and a half year old's preference? Or did it's you have mostly, some other thought behind that? It's mostly the two and a half year old's preference. I, I wanted, what this video was trying to show was one, I'm just showing off my great niece. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's what I'm doing. And also that you can share these things with a two and a half year old and you can share this with your family or your family's friends or kids or whoever, you know, if they're interested and, and please do. And I know from being down here with her, cause she comes down here with me every day when, when she visits, wants to come down and see the snakes. And she says, I see a snake. So we come down, we see the snakes, I water the snakes, I care for the snakes, she's hanging out. So I know which ones her favorites are from this weekend. Now, next time she comes out, maybe two entirely different ones. But this weekend, I know it's Artemis. I know it's been Apollo. Artemis. See? <laughs> so with that, those are why I pulled those two out. Because I want to keep that excitement. Because every time she says it, she smiles. You, you like Artemis? You See? So that's why we pulled out just the two snakes. Because she's her interest in other ones, well, it's just not nearly as high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Hey Aurora, who's your favorite, Uncle Matt or E.E.? E.E. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's a safe answer right there. Good kid. Can you say bye bye everybody? Bye bye. Can you he say says, adios amigos? Huh? <laughs> huh? Say adios amigos. Can you put kisses at E.E.? E. Bye. Love Can you. you. Say, Love you. Love you. And I love snakes. I love snakes. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. I'll see you next week.